we can see in the front of all the papers. It's the horrific murder of Josh Dunn, a 16-year-old yeah. boy in Dublin's inner city. And this is utter... Like, I know we use the word tragic, but this is... Sure, this is so tragic. Yeah, it is. And I think it has been a really divisive case. I yeah. mean, I think that... I mean, obviously, George Bento, who's the, the accused in the case, uh, he was acquitted by the jury. Um, they, he, they had been given options of guilty of murder, guilty of manslaughter, or just a straight-out acquittal, which is what they went for in the end. Uh, and, you know, his defence was that it was self-defence, that he was in fear for his life, that he was also trying to protect one of his friends. Uh, I mean, this was just an absolutely chaotic scene. Um, and it was very, very violent, and there were multiple people hurt, including 16-year-old Josh Dunn, uh, who was killed. Uh, and I think that it's one of those cases where people are feel like they have to take a side or, or mm. another, and, and it is, is it possible and okay for you to think that it's terrible that Josh Dunn was killed because he was only 16 and it yeah. was very tragic. And it's also possible for you to think that George Bento, that you can understand but how it happened and that he was defending himself. No well, matter what, it is tragic yeah, that yeah. somebody lost their life, 100%. Yeah. But George Bento, he was a Deliveroo driver. Yeah. Uh, he got attacked and it sounded like a fairly vicious attack as well. Yeah. He, of course, had a knife that he said was used for cutting fruit and stabbed Josh and eventually led to him dying. Yeah. Uh, I, but I mean, when you're reading about the police reports and how dangerous it is a situation for a lot of these delivery drivers, and we saw during COVID that deliveries were going through the roof. And I'm sure how, you know, as a, one of these delivery drivers, how frightening would it be to go into certain areas where you are going to get attacked. Well, this is what they're discovering now. There is a huge issue. Yeah, there is. And there has been for a number of years. I mean, there, there are delivery drivers, for example, who, who say they won't go into certain areas, um, that, you know, they've had their bikes stolen, which is what happened on, on the, the night that Josh was killed. Um, so his, and one of George's friends had his bike stolen. One of stolen George's there, friends yeah. had, had his bike stolen. And Ger George saw the bike being taken and went afterwards. I mean, he was trying to be a good Samaritan. And, you know, he said yesterday that he regrets that he did that, he, you know, because he knows now that if he hadn't done that one step, that none of this would have happened and he wouldn't have been in prison for the last 18 months and Josh would still be alive and you know he knows that and he said yesterday I, I you know I just wish I hadn't done that and you know you never know what's going to happen when you take one you step in, in your life you know but yeah I mean the, the, the police and the guards have said that especially during that time that was January 2021 we were in the middle of a Covid lockdown and they said that policing in certain areas including that area was very very challenging uh, and not just in terms of food delivery drivers but the general community as well found it very difficult and very frightening. And uh, Ort, uh, Orson Seg, um, uh, Serendori, she had obviously, she'd been stabbed and murdered. Like yeah. that happened in 2021. We've seen another person who was uh, knocked down by yeah. someone. There have been murders. Killed as well. Yeah, in, yeah. The, in the area. A, a hit and run. And, and that, that was a delivery driver. Yeah. yeah. And that had happened the previous year. Now, um, the, the killing the IFSC that you just mentioned there, that was within a few days um, of of. This of, this of this incident and there also was a man stabbed in several places which was uh, I think a few days afterwards um, so I mean those were all sort of happening uh, around the same time in and around the same area of, of the city uh, so you know it was quite a volatile time and I mean what the guards were saying as well that just during that time I mean the, the youths in in Dublin just didn't really have anything to do. And this isn't a, a commentary on, on Josh as, as a person or his no. own behaviour. This is this is younger people in general uh -huh. in the city had nothing to do and were just hanging around and it just made for a very challenging Josh atmosphere. Josh seems to be going in to try to help his friend who had yeah, jumped he in. Was. Like, God, God bless him, it's so, I can't, his poor family. Like, yeah. it's just utterly awful. But the issue here is, again, Policing. Yeah. Where are the feet on the ground? What is going on? And why aren't we recruiting more? But well, uh, Superintendent Costello said, I mean, it, that it has been so difficult in certain areas as well around Dublin during lockdown. And really listen, hard for guards. They're like, absolutely. I don't feel safe.